Chiefs. Everybody jumping in. Thank you for joining us here tonight. You're listening to Typer Radio, The Zone here on Typer Radio every Wednesday starting at 8 p.m. Um, it just, it, it, this, I, this is the most exciting time of the year for me. So coming up, we're going to talk, we're going to look at the standings. Uh, I am not worried about the ones who have already made it. We've already said their names numerous times. Uh, basically, you know, if you you get five wins, you're in. At five wins, you're in. We're going to focus on the teams that have their last weekend opportunity to get into the playoffs. We're going to look at the teams that are just needing that one more win to get in or one to make sure they're on the bubble. I guarantee you there's going to be a lot of activity when it comes to that. A lot of games this weekend. If you're out uh, doing the games, if you're out of games this weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday, I will be broadcasting live. Uh, shoot me a message. I've, I've given this number before. Let me give the number again for you. 979-353-1228. And I'll put it in the chat box here. Nine seven nine three five three one two two eight. That is the uh, the the scores line for type for Typer Radio. Nine seven nine three five three one two two eight. You can text to that number. You can text to that number. Any score updates throughout the day on Saturday. And on Sunday, because I know there's a bunch of hosted games going on on Sunday. I'll be at one. Send it to that number right there, and we'll report those scores throughout the day as we receive them. So we'll take a look at the standing updates to see who's who still has a chance to get in the playoffs. We already know. We'll, we'll, we'll probably run through them quickly, but we already know who's already got the, their spot secured. But we want to know who needs that final win here in the, re- the last week. And, of course, your phone calls. The line is open, 979-353-4421. That is the number to call, 979-353-4421. You want to wish your organization, your team well, heading into the playoffs, heading into the final week of the regular season, you can do it right there. Keep it here. We're going to step away. We'll be right back here on Type of Week. Joey T, son of Mike and Patty Teague and longtime Typha members, was born with cystic fibrosis. Despite this, Joey went to school, graduated with honors from Judson High School, and attended the University of Texas at San Antonio for three years, all while struggling to stay healthy. Joey also coached in Taifa with the Live Oak Jaguars from 1998 to 2006 and was a husband and father. Joey passed away in 2007. The Joey Teague Type of Volunteer of the Year Award was established to recognize and bring attention to the many volunteers who helped make Typha one of the premier leagues in Texas and the nation through heartfelt passion, enthusiastic commitment, and a contagious spirit, all of which epitomized Joey Teague and all that he gave to youth sports. For more information or to nominate a volunteer from your organization for the Joey T. Type of Volunteer of the Year Award, send your nominee's name, contact information, and a short bio as to what makes them a great volunteer. You can send the information to helpdesk at typha.com. That's helpdesk at typha.com. The Joey T. Type of Volunteer of the Year Award. Recognize your volunteer. Rock solid. A rock-solid soft-shell helmet is the first helmet a kid will ever wear. It enhances the experience and allows kids to feel like big-time football players. After their NFL careers, the Rock Solid team was built on the powerful idea that by delivering gear that promotes a better experience, they can help to preserve and grow the game of football. Rock Solid is a proud sponsor of the Texas Youth Football Association and the Typha Radio Player of the Game Award. For more information on how you can get your Rock Solid soft shell helmet and other great gear and apparel from this authentic football company, go to www.liverocksolid.com. That's liverocksolid.com. Or call 855-282-8880. Email rocksolid at info at liverocksolid.com. Rock Solid. Football is for everyone. We got you. Points. Cash. Gear. 
sports. With a Dick scorecard, you earn points on all your purchases and get 3% back in rewards and access to exclusive deals and events. It's simple. Points lead to cash to buy gear so you can play more sports. Get your Dick scorecard and start earning reward certificates today. Every season starts at Dick's. All Star. All Star. All Star Inflatables, a premier custom manufacturer of cold air inflatables. And they know what big time Texas football is all about. They specialize in team spirit tunnels, inflatable helmets, mascots, bounce houses, and much, much more. They also do repairs. No job is too big or too small for All Star Inflatables. With over 35 years of combined experience, their goal is to create, design, and manufacture top quality inflatables at affordable prices. All Star Inflatables is proud to manufacture 100% in Texas, 100% made in the USA. All Star Inflatables is a proud sponsor of the Texas Youth Football and Cheer Association. Typha organizations, let them know you're with Typha and get 10% off. See their ad at typha.com and check them out at www.allstarinflatables.com. That's all-starinflatables.com. Or call their sales department at 888-349-4386. Or email them at sales at allstarinflatables.com. All Star Inflatables. If you can imagine it, they can inflate it. GTM Sportswear. GTM Sportswear. Look like a team, train like a team. GTM Sportswear can outfit your entire team with custom jerseys, uniforms with amazing new sublimations to choose from, warm-ups, and much, much more. Get your team practice wear with up to 20% off. They even have great fan apparel for that team spirit look. GTM Sportswear is a proud sponsor of the Texas Youth Football and Cheer Association. Need uniforms for your cheerleaders? They got those too. Get some of the best prices on all apparel with their amazing partnership with Typha. Just go to gtmsportswear.com and get outfitted for the season. Once again, that's gtmsportswear.com. Or call Melanie Miller at 785-249-5343 for more information. GTM Sportswear. Love what you do, wear what you love. It's the annual Typha State Cheer Competition, November 4th at the American Bank Center in Corpus Christi, Texas. Cheer teams from all over Typha will converge and compete for the Battle at the Beach. Don't miss what has become one of the largest and most exciting cheer competitions in the state of Texas. Go to www.typha.com for more information. Also, follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Typha Cheer. Who will be crowned grand champion in Typha? Come see and find out November 4th. It's the Battle at the Beach. It's the annual Typha State Cheer Competition at the American Bank Center in Corpus Christi. Come get your cheer on. It's a cheer thing. You're listening to Typha Radio, part of the Typha Sports Network. And welcome back to Typha Radio. You're listening to The Zone here on Typha Radio every Wednesday evening starting at 8 p.m. Playoff season is upon us. Tell me something. Who is not fired up? I know that I am. Yeah. Doesn't get any better than this. Playoff football coming your way here on Typha Radio as we get set and ready to go. A lot of people asking a lot of questions uh, about the playoffs. I've gotten several questions throughout the day. Uh, I'm thinking that I don't have any other things going on. Uh, let's see here. Uh, congratulations, I guess, uh, Deshaun Thompson. <laughs> uh, Jim Brewster asking where I'm going to be. I mentioned earlier, I'll mention it again. Saturday, we'll be in San Antonio for the San Antonio Junior Mustangs, taking on the Texas All-Stars. Sunday, it's the San Antonio Predators and the Judson Junior Rockets. Then we shoot over to the War Room. And we're bringing you the Typhoon Radio Playoff Reveal Show. We're going to give you all those playoff matchups, uh, seedings, and matchups as they become available throughout the entire evening right here on Typhoon Radio. I, again, let me say it again because I know I'll be asked about 1,500 times between now and Sunday. There will not be Facebook Live. So if you want to catch this information first, once we get it, you are going to need to make sure you are listening live to Typha Radio. Typha.com forward slash, uh, Typha.com, select uh, the Typha Sports Network, then select Typha Radio. You will see, and we'll do it right here on 
uh, the zone. You can pick it up right there. It'll be a zone show. Thanks, David Ortiz. Appreciate that. Uh, definitely, you know, so that way you'll know uh, what we're doing. Uh, you can listen to everything that's going on, but we're not going to be on Facebook Live. There's no way for me to do it. Uh, it's going to be a radio show only, which it makes sense. This is type of radio. Um, and before we get, you know, dive too deep into uh, playoffs and type of playoffs and drive for the for the tr for the championship, drive for the trophy. Um, it is definitely worth mentioning, although it, it, it's it's heartbreaking uh, to mention the, the tragedy uh, down uh, south of San Antonio near Floresville. Um, everything that has gone on there with with the the shootings, uh, the the mass shooting that occurred. Um, I would be remiss if I did not mention that and, and, and well wishes and prayers for anybody and everybody who's been affected. Um, I, I got a story uh, earlier today um, as I was getting prepared for high school football. Um, one of the uh, local high schools in that area, uh, I believe it's Lavernia, um, Lavernia High School, one of their uh, kids that does the filming of the, of the uh, varsity football games. Uh, was affected. He was uh, shot several times, uh, has survived, but he is uh, still in critical condition um, at the hospital to date. Uh, just a lot of effect that this shooting has had throughout the throughout Texas. I mean, it's the worst mass shooting in Texas um, ever, I believe is what they're saying. Uh, it sparked uh, a lot of prayers and thoughts for everybody. And I immediately reached out to people that I knew down in Floresville to see how they were doing, to see if uh, anybody that we know has been affected. Luckily, I've been told that uh, nobody that we know particularly has been affected out of the Floresville area. I know we got people in the Laverne area as well. Um, you know, please keep them in your thoughts and prayers as this is still very, very fresh. Um, it's my hope uh, that what we do here at Typha with football, uh, high school football, will bring those communities together and give them a chance uh, to cheer. Uh, to have something to cheer about than to uh, mourn about. Uh, there's still mourning that has to be done, but if we can give them just that one couple of hours, two, three hours of of peace uh, to be able to enjoy a community event like high school football, like youth football, uh, we need to do that. So please keep everybody in, their, in your prayers uh, down in the Sutherland Springs area, uh, which includes Lavernia, Floresville in particular, those areas that we know quite well here in Taipa. So I want to make sure I, I, I express my thoughts and prayers for all of you that are affected out there. Uh, we definitely are thinking of you. All right, so let's take a look at our first group of standings here. Uh, we're going to hit Division Two flag. And like I said, we're not going to mention those who've already made the playoffs. Uh, we already know uh, if you, you are five wins or more, you are in, you know. Uh, you celebrated when you got that fifth win, so you know you're in the playoffs. So we're not going to worry about that. Uh, there's some that didn't get mentioned last week because they were still waiting on results or what have you. They've since made it there, uh, but congratulations to them. We're going to look at the ones who are right there. So right now when I look at that Division II flag, uh, the first three that stick out are the Bell County Patriots, ATX Wildcats, and the Brazos Gators. They are 4-2. and two. Uh, The Gators are 4-2-1. and one. Uh, So they're in a very unique situation. If uh, they stay with their four wins, even if they lose their last game this weekend, they will be 4-3-1. and one. They will be in the playoffs because they will be over 500. If you're at point five oh one or better, you are in the playoffs. So the Gators, for all intents and purposes, should be in. They're not marked yet, uh, but I think it's because they have to go to that last game. I think if they – I don't know if even a tie – would keep them out because a loss doesn't keep them out. So when you look at the, at the, at the rules, when it came to this four, three and one gets you in the playoffs. Now four and two, you've got, they've got two games left to play. So these are one of those, te those these teams that have got two games to complete this weekend. Uh, they need one win to secure that playoff spot. They got two chances to do it. That's the bell County Patriots and the ATX Wildcats. Now at four and three, Brush Country Rattlers, A-Leaf Titans Elite, Southeast Junior Hornets, the Junior Brahmas, Texas Sun Devils are all at four and three. They have one game remaining this weekend. 
they must win to get in.